Hey, how's it going, everybody? So we're out here with this, uh, I think it's like a little Chevy Ion. And uh, we're going to be doing a radiator replacement on this because uh, over the winter time he busted his radiator. It's about halfway up the radiator is where the hole is, uh, but it's unfixable. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take everything off here and get the fan out of the way. And then we'll drain the radiator because there's no uh, drain plug on this radiator. So we have to take the hose off. Uh, the hose on this side is about halfway up the radiator, so we'll only be able to drain about half of it. That's okay, though. Not a big deal. Bust them free. Let's get our tool out here. Make things a little, a little bit easier. Yeah, get this out of the way so that way we can get to the fan bolt back here. So I've got to move the power steering reservoir. Okay. There we go. Now I can at least get back there to it. That it's probably 10 mil too. Oh, sure is. I have to get in there with a wrench. Okay, there. Wrench, 10 mil wrench here. There we go. I could probably move this battery out of my way too while I'm at it. That's gonna be a pain with that in the way right there. Let's see if I can stretch this hose over here a little bit, like so. There we go. Just like that. Then I can get in here with this. Oh, comes up a little. There we go. Finger. There we go. Okay. Fans on hook. It was a pain to get that little sucker, too. Okay, now we just take the fan out nice and easy, just like so. Set that off to the side. All right, now we have full access to the hose down in here. I don't know if you guys can see that hose down in there. It's right here. Right there. We will grab our channel locks here. Where's my bigger pair? Here they are. Stick our bucket underneath here to catch any water that's going to about to fall. Now, Hard to reach this clamp down here. 
but there we go, I got it. like those clamps. Alright, there we go. Alright, we'll let that drain for a moment. Let's catch all that as much as we can anyways. Got another one down below on the little hose. So we'll now move that out of the way. Put that out. The question is, how am I going to turn that? I got to get in. That clamp is turned all the way backwards on it. Room to get it in there. Okay, well, what I'll do is I'll take out the uh, radiator first here, loosen it, lean it forward, so that way I can get the little hose in. little bit here so we can get the other mount out over here <sighs> okay hold on a second let me uh, uh take the hose off here so that way it's out of the way the upper one here that way it's out of our way we're not fighting it we gotta take it off anyways because we're replacing both hoses on this car for the gentleman. There we go. And then we can get that mount out of there. There were no rubber bushings left in it, really. Okay. Now slide this back like that. So we can get this other clamp right up here for the reservoir off. There we go. Okay, we'll move this out of our way here, just like that. Put it over there, out of our way, just like that. All right, now, I have a smaller pair of channel locks. You might be able to get in there with a the smaller pair on this other clamp. I get that clamp to turn around or something here. I'm getting it to turn around very slowly, but if I get it to turn around, I can get a bite on it. There we go. Now I should be able to get a good bite on it. Or I can squeeze the clamp and get it to move. Angle still. There we go. I'm just thinking, don't don't slip off of their channel locks and pinch me between that hose and uh, on there. Okay. Got that one off. Now we got to get the other one off at the bottom. Transmission hose off here. Just like that. Just like 
Yeah. And we'll chuck those hoses up so that way they're not leaking straight down onto the ground or into the bucket. But I mean, it, I got the bucket under there just, just for that reason. Okay. Now, tilt forward. Like so. Get the other, get the other big hose here out of the way. I gotta get it around the condenser there. It's one of the objects that's on there first, you know? I just gotta get this thing out of the way. I don't want to take that off. Let's take the other hose off over here, too. That'll give me a little bit of extra room. on their tight. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I need the space. on there but it was really loose. So I kind of do that. And I, I have to, if I wouldn't have to put the tent on there I would have had to force it to go on there. We're not setting the battery directly down on the ground or anything like that. Now I can move this guy anywhere I want out of my way. And now we'll take the radiator, pull him straight up like this. Nice and easy. Kind of a tight fit, so. Okay. And that's how you take your radiator out of these. Uh, ions. DS Vault, and we'll catch you in the next video when we put the radiator back in.